I am not me. I am art. And I am with you. Right here. Right now. We are together for another weekly live update. And it begins right now. Um, hey guys. Obviously I was away last week. I wasn't able to be a part of it. Hello, Sosa Flo. Um, it's sad because Instagram isn't as important as Facebook. That's There's nothing I can do about that, sir. Uh, but I do appreciate you being a part of this. Um, so, gosh, uh, what a week, what a couple of weeks uh, it's been. Um, Inktober. Wow, what a um, uh, an intense um, challenge that is turning into. Um, if you weren't so talented, gosh. <laughs> Sosa Flo's got it. He's got it right on the nose there. Great job, guy. Um, uh, Inktober's been an incredible challenge, um, something that I didn't really uh, consider um, how much work it would be. Um, so last week, uh, it uh, sprayed up customs. Customs with a K. So that lets me know that you are... You don't play by anybody's rules, and I respect that. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, yeah, Inktober. Uh, it was kind of kicking my butt last week. Hi, Stuart. Um, but it wasn't uh, enough to prevent me from posting Jesus's birthday uh, video, an incredible video. Uh, I think you'll agree. Anyone who has watched it will know what an incredible video it is. Right? Um, it is, uh, it was a labour of love. Uh, it started as a small suggestion, just from uh, one of these live updates, in fact. Um, somebody suggesting, hey, can we see a little bit about Jesus's birthday? So I started filming, um, and then that turned into something. I'm Jewish, no Jesus. That's great, that's great. Um, although, if my knowledge is correct, and it often is, was Jesus himself not Jewish? So we've got into that quite quickly, a lot quicker than I was anticipating on a Sunday morning. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I was filming uh, Jesus's birthday and it obviously turned into something quite magnificent, quite magnificent indeed. Um, and the end result is, is one of my proudest achievements. I learned something. Uh, I'm sure Jesus learned something as well. And he also got some delicious ham. Uh, so that was last week. Um, what have we got going on uh, this week? We've got uh, a Q&A um, and a Q&A from the emails uh, this time. I've got an email from uh, a chap called Jimmy Matez. Here's an email. Uh, Jimmy Matez asks, why doesn't Jesus wear plain monochrome clothes like you? Well, that's a great question, Jimmy. Thank you for asking it. I wear plain monochrome clothes. Um, because I truly feel that I bring enough colour um, without my clothes having to make some kind of statement. I keep this on a base level of just cool. It's just refined cool, much like Coco Chanel. Um, and then I, with my personality, with my words, with my thoughts, I bring the magic. I bring the colour. Okay, that's why I wear monochrome clothes. Jesus is his own artist. Okay, Jesus projects the image of himself that he is comfortable projecting. Let me ask you a question, Jimmy Matez and everybody um, watching. Did Andy Warhol wear plain monochromatic clothes? Does Shia LaBeouf wear plain monochromatic clothes? Does Rita Aura? No. All of these are phenomenal, era-defining artists, and yet they have their own style. Just like I, and just like Jesus. And also, when it comes to, to Jesus and, and the clothes and the colours that he, wear, he, he wears, I... I happen to think that he really pops 
when he's wearing things on a kind of a blue-green spectrum. Um, his leash uh, is kind of a, a, a dark green. Uh, his uh, got to work. Okay, so it's a flow. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching when you could. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so, yeah, uh, Jesus' uh, leash is green. His collar is blue. Um, he has a super cute uh, teal, uh, like a thermal coat uh, for the winter uh, with, little, uh, with little dog sleeves that honestly makes me want to kill myself. Uh, it's so adorable. Um, would it be worth sacrificing his natural affinity to the blue-green spectrum simply for us to be wearing the same things? I don't think so. Uh, and clearly he doesn't um, either. Um, even though it would look, now that I think of it, very cool were I to wear the same clothes as him. If we were like little twins, I guess. That would be super cute. On a related note, uh, if anyone is able to find purple sunglasses... Um, that are made exclusively for £12 dogs, DM me, okay, because we need to talk. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Um, Artist of the Week. Artist of the Week. I'm a big fan of uh, marketing, advertising. It's always been a, a, a passion of mine. A lot of people um, will groan when it comes to watching adverts on television. Uh, myself, I really enjoy it. I think that think of them as small short films, short artistic endeavours that you can watch in the midst of watching your other things. One of the disappointments of uh, Netflix, for me personally, is the absence of adverts. Okay, um, so I'm a, a big fan, a big believer in the in the power of uh, advertising. Um, I like boldness in my advertising. If if somebody's just uh, keeping it on the on, on the level something that we've seen before no I don't like that what I like let me give you let me give you an example is a marketing company uh, or a marketing department say an advertising department such as the advertising department working with DiGiorno's Pizza um, now those in the UK um, probably won't have the same kind of uh, advertising for this Digi DiGiorno's Pizza is um, uh, a pizza company um, for uh, hello, Anna Karine. Hello, thank you very much for joining. Um, DiGiorno's Pizza Company is a frozen uh, pizza company. You cook these pizzas at home in your oven, and which is which is a, a fantastic. They're lovely. They're lovely pizzas. They're lovely pizzas. Hello, Eric, Anna Karine. Um, they're lovely pizzas. Um, but the advertising company for DiGiorno's had the bold idea to make a, a series of adverts that claim that DiGiorno's pizzas that you cook at home in the oven are superior, far superior, to delivery pizza, as in from a, 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 a Papa John's, a, a Domino's, a Pizza Hut. Now let's get our heads around this. They're saying that it's clear and obvious that DiGiorno's home-cooked pizza is far superior. They're not making this as a bold claim. They're not saying, hey, we're, we're setting our, our flag in the sand and saying that DiGiorno's pizzas are better than delivery pizzas. They act as if this is common knowledge. They try to gaslight us by saying, hey, DiGiorno's pizza... Thank goodness you're having DiGiorno's pizza and not having rubbish terrible delivery pizza and you start to question reality Think, is oven pizza better than to, I mean they're acting as if it's obvious they're in our heads it's such a wonderfully bold tactic to say hey thank good they make up all these lies about delivery pizza that it's all soggy and that people always get caught in the in the traffic and I just think it's stunning I think it's stunning. Um, and so my artist of the week is the advertising department for DiGiorno's Home Cook Pizza. Bold, fresh, innovative.
wonderful, wonderful. Um, so in terms of uh, plans, uh, we talked about last week, we talked about, uh, we had the Q&A, if there are any uh, live cues that need A's, let me know, I'm always here for you. Um, we talked about um, the Artist of the Week, DiGiorno's. Next week, what's, what's coming up next week? Well, very simply, it's more Inktober. Um, the, the, the stunning thing in my mind, is that I've put so much work into Inktober. So much work into Inktober. We're not even halfway through the month yet. We will be past halfway on Wednesday of this week. If you're not doing Inktober yourself, you have no idea how difficult this is and no idea how impressive it is that not only am I producing an ink drawing for every single day, and I've looked on Instagram, a lot of other artists, not doing every day, every other day, two out of every three days, I'm doing every single day. Not only am I doing every single day, Stuart Seaton is loving Inktober. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Um, not only am I doing a picture every day, but I'm doing a picture that is so imaginative, it requires me to also do a video every day explaining the picture. That's how much work I'm putting in. Um, and next week will be all that. There'll be no midweek treats. There will be no uh, uh, big video on Saturday. When it comes around to next Saturday, if you're sad that there's no um, uh, video, weekly video from Not Me, just watch Jesus' birthday again. Again, that's 13 and a half minutes of pure gold. It'll take you on a roller coaster. Um, and a roller coaster that you won't want to get off, might I say. Um, uh, so next week will be just more Inktober, but I will endeavour to be here with you um, uh, for another live update next Sunday. Um, because I don't do them every week, as we saw last week. Some, some weeks I just can't even. Um, but most weeks, most weeks, I will do these live updates. Um, so that's it. Thank you so, so much uh, for joining me uh, on this Sunday afternoon, evening, uh, if you're in the UK, um, and morning if you're in the uh, USA. Um, I really appreciate you spending this time with me. Uh, and thank you so much for, for, being, uh, for being here with me. It, it, it makes me feel uh, a lot less Lonely. So that was the Not Me update for the 13th of October 2019. And it's over. Have a fantastic week, guys. A fantastic week. I love you and I'll see you soon. Thumbs up from Tiff Douglas. You caught it right at the end there, didn't you? Thank you so much. All the best. And let's finish this slickly. <laughs>